We're going to create a panto using Electric Quilt 5. So if we double click on our Electric Quilt 5 program, the program starts up. Um, it's asking me if I want to open this project. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to cancel the um, workbook. I'm going to set, for sake of argument, set the drawing table to an 8x8 eight eight so that you can see what happens. I don't want it 845 and say OK. So now we have a block the way that you would normally see it when you were to incorporate any block um, regardless of whether it was a motif or um, a stencil or one of the piecing blocks. And what we want to do is bring a drawing in to create into a stencil. So what we would do is go up to our libraries. We would choose our block library we would choose the electric quilt libraries. We'll choose quilt stencils. Um, the one that I've been using right now is at Curves. The one that I like um, that's pretty easy to follow is Wine Glass 2. At this point, um, we're going to copy this into our um, sketchbook. So we click Copy. Uh, we're done with that. If we were going to do a bunch of them, then we would do the same all the way across, but we're not. We're just doing this one, so we can close this down. We'll go to View Sketchbook. You have the little icon right here. We'll open it up, and you'll see blocks, motifs, stencils, embroidery, and pictures. Well, the one that we just did is sitting in stencils. You'll see it um, right here. It's Wine, wine Glass 2. So to create this into a panto, instead of doing it like we did in Electric Quilt 6, what we're going to do is edit this block. And so we click the edit, the block comes up, and at this point here is where we're going to turn it into a panto. What you will do is you'll go back to work on your block or your block um, um, icon or your block thing on, on your file, your menu bar. We're going to select drawing board and here it is the way a block normally looks. Well we're going to change this to 45. We're going to change it to 7. We're going to say OK and you'll notice now that it looks really funny. But that's the way it's supposed to look because it thinks it's an 8 by 8 block, which it really is. But at this point is where we're going to adjust it. So we'll go up to our edit key on the menu bar, click select all or control A for all of those that um, are familiar with key, uh, computer shortcuts. Set it here. Let's take it down some more. And let's bring it over and drop it in. Um, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a whole row of these, or as many as that will fit, and we might be able to um, juggle them a little bit. So what we would do is go up to our Edit key, select all again, go up to our Edit key, and hit copy or for those that want the shortcut it is control C it then selects it all go up to your edit key hit control V for paste or paste whichever you're com comfortable with you will line them next to each other so now we have two now I could say control A select all of them and control V and paste another one Let's hit Control A to select all and Control V, uh, Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. I forgot a step. And line them all up here. Um, let's increase our block size so that it's a little bit bigger. So let's go to our drawing board. Let's take it out to 55 so that we don't have to do a lot. Oh, 48 is the biggest. So if you were doing a really large panel in um, Electric Quilt 5, you'd have to print them a couple of times to get it the way you want. I think in Electric Quilt 6, uh, it allows for a larger block. So we'll say OK. Let's see how much we're off. Um, 
let's delete this part here and then we'll shrink it down okay so what we want to do to make this fit is do control a is that what it is yeah control a and we're going to shrink this down to fit and we now have our panto if I can get it aligned now let's zoom out let's zoom out okay so now we have our panto and what we want to do is that we want to print it um, so what we would do is go up to our menu bar and click file go down to print you know what let's save this first save it um, into our block sketchbook so that if we ever wanted to refer back to it later we could so then what we would do is go to file select print select the block and it looks really funny you'll notice right here that it's our original block size 6 by 6 and it's set to an applique pattern well we want to change this to 45 we want to change this to 7 and we want it to be an outline drawing um, the other options print block name we could adjust our thickness if we wanted it um, large or small but we'll just leave it at this the page setup is okay I have it set on um, my roll paper so if you hit the preview you will notice because I have roll paper it's going to print on one continuous sheet of paper um, I would then if I was happy with it click the print button it would print it uh, um, on my Epson printer on one piece of paper um, once it was finished and it cut it I would take it to my uh, quilt table align it with my quilt and quilt it now not everybody has a roll feeder or a, a printer that will accommodate roll paper uh, most of us ha have eight and a half by eleven either laser or um, inkjet printer so we'll close this down and what we're going to do is go to close this one down we want to click print and we want to click the block cancel oh I didn't want to do that hit the print it's gonna give me an error okay so we need to set up our printer and it, it won't do it from here let's go to printers I have an HP so I want to select that let's set it as default that way it won't give me any more problems close this down what we want to do now is like I said go up to your file select print print the block it's still 45 wide still 7 inches high it's still an outline drawing um, what will happen now when we print it it's going to print on six pieces of paper um, what you would do and let me zoom in on this is you would cut along one line and paste the other cut along one line and align and tape it I'm not sorry sorry not paste it but tape it so you would cut a line tape cut a line and tape cut a line and tape once you did that you would have one continuous piece of paper um, you would then take it to your long arm align it just like you would any other panto that you purchased or whatever and begin quilting I am going to be doing some other videos in trying to uh, to show you how <clears throat> by using colors um, set how you would quilt it um, this concludes this video and I hope you come back again soon thank you